Hi, nobodies. It's been a minute, and um, I'm going to upload this as soon as I'm done with it, but uh, it's going to be a while before it's public because I do have things going on in my life right now. Um, but what I wanted to talk about, what's keeping me from sleeping right now, is this going through my head of the things I've been blamed for. Now, I try to be very self-aware of what I do, what role I play when things go south or when they go good. I'm less likely to, to recognize my part in things when things go good, but when things go bad, I'm looking at, okay, how did I say this? How did I do that? You know, was this me? Um, and, you know, when you talk to people who have done things, they say, you make time for what's important. What's important to you is, an, is, is definitely a priority. So, I have to look at, like, if I need to clean my house. Like, I have to sweep and mop you know, and dust. And somebody comes to me and they say, hey, let's go to the thrift store. Let's go to the flea market. Let's go hiking. Let's go to the lake. It's my choice whether I say, fuck this housework. For me to blame that person, even though they've come up and said, hey, you know, let's go do this. Because even if I said, well, I got to do housework. Can it wait a minute? Can it, you know, and they're like, no, we got to go right now. And I really need you to come. I really want you to come hang out with me. No matter how much pressure they put on you to do the thing. At the end of the day, you choose to do this other thing instead of what you felt you needed to do. Because, hey, the other thing is a lot more exciting, maybe. And um, I, I really don't like it when people want to blame others. You know, like they'll say, well, oh, the dog tore that up. But who was supposed to be watching the dog? Yes, the dog is responsible. But you can't blame the dog because a dog is nothing more than a freaking toddler. You have to watch them. You have to put things up that you don't want them to get. At the end of the day, the dog isn't to blame it's the person who was supposed to be watching him or the person who was supposed to put the things away. Um, and, you know, it's, it's not hard to think about, you know, like when I think about going to school, I don't blame anybody but me for me not getting a higher education. Um, Cause I can tell you, like I had thought about it and then I was like, well, I got to go do this and I got to go do that. And I got to fill out this paperwork and I got to fill out that paperwork. And I'm sure I could have found somebody to help me do all these things that I was just like, you know, that's a lot of work. And I really don't know if when I get this degree, if I'm even going to want to do the job. Like, what if I hate it? Okay. It's my fault. <laughs> that I didn't get a higher education. Nobody stopped me from that. Now, if I would have went through all of this stuff and couldn't get any kind of financial aid and couldn't come up with the money, you know, and I was busting my ass at like four or five jobs and begging and pleading people to help me and nobody helped me, at that point, I might be able to say, I did all I could. There was just too much red tape you know, that I couldn't get across. But see, most people don't work that hard because when you do work that hard, the red tape doesn't stop you. When you really want something, you make it happen. And to place things on people, you know, like uh, there was a time in my life where 
I was at a place and things were not working out really great. And they were like, well, hey, we're gonna move to this other place. And I'm like, okay, we're gonna move to this other place. I got blamed for letting this project go. But the thing was, I was not standing there saying, I wanna leave, I'm done, I can't stand it here. We gotta go, we need to move to town. This is just, no, we, we got to. It's, it's me or this place. Like I was not putting those kinds of, I was not putting ultimatums on this person. Um, things were not getting done. And the excuse I got from that person was that, well, you and this other person are not helping me. So I decided we should go hiking or we should go visit this place or I'd take some pictures, you know? Ultimately, you decided that you weren't gonna work that day because they may not. Now, when you've got people who are aimless, I guess I could, I could call myself fairly aimless. I have to know what I'm supposed to be doing and it has to be precise. Uh, I have to know exactly what I'm supposed to be doing. So when you leave me alone to do something and I'm just kind of like, uh, okay, that's a really broad thing, you know, like, oh, pick up sticks. You go outside and let me tell you, there's a lot of sticks in the woods. So which sticks am I supposed to pick up and what am I supposed to do with them? Because last time when I put them in a pile over here, you got upset that they were there. So what pile, you have to be specific because the vision is not mine. Uh, if I tell you, hey, research psychology, that's a pretty broad thing. And for me to expect you to know about a specific thing when I didn't give you a specific thing to research, I can't really blame you for researching the wrong thing because I was not specific. So when a person decides, well, hey, they're not gonna work hard. I'm gonna get irritated. So fuck it, let's go to town. Let's go do something else. That person wasn't saying, hey, I don't wanna be stuck here, let's go out to town. No, you chose that. So you can't then blame them for the work not getting done because you chose to not even be there to do the work. And that's how it is with a lot of things, you know, it's like, it's like, well, hey, I feel like if you were supporting me more, I support people the way I know how. You know, I'm sorry if that's not the way that you want to be supported. Uh, I'm sorry if I don't do enough. I'm sorry if what I do is not enough. To me, it is. Like, I hold myself accountable to, you know, like, I don't sit here and say the government owes me more money. I would be further in life if I got more money every month. Damn the government. No, it's my fault that I only make a set amount of money. That's on me. It's on me that I don't try to do other things to make more. Now, I have very good reasons for not doing those things. But at the end of the day, it's on me, my decisions that I choose to say, hey, you know, my anxiety makes it hard for me to hold down a job. You know, if I have bad interactions with coworkers, it makes it hard for me to keep that job. It makes me hard. It makes it hard for me to show up 
but ultimately that's not their fault. A, a coworker I don't get along with, that's on me. I can't blame them for making, you know, like if I wanted to go work at Dollar General, I can't blame that person for my anxiety, you know, unless they're just doing something really freaking bad. Um, I don't blame my parents for the way that I am. I do in some ways, but ultimately, like all the therapists I've seen, I don't blame them for me not being better because I have access to everything that they have access to as far as treating somebody with various mental illnesses. I have access to all this information. I have access to things that each therapist I've seen has never set eyes on because they don't have time to do all that. They're employed. <laughs> They've, they're actually treating patients, so they can't go into these little rabbit holes about ADHD or autism or BPD or, you know, the, the various kinds of borderline personality disorder or the various kinds of personality disorders. So, me not getting better, I don't blame the therapist. The therapist is trying to help me. It's not their fault if they're not getting through to me or they're not come they're not approaching me in the way that I need to be approached you know because like there's a very there's a, a relationship that you build and you learn stuff from some and some therapists you vibe with really well some you don't now I do think that there is a very 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 crappy um, mental health care issue in America. Um, places that treat uh, people on Medicaid and Medicare do not pay therapists well and there's a high turnover rate and you know um, it takes a while to build a relationship with a therapist and they're finding better jobs so by the time you're comfortable with somebody they're moving on to something else or your insurance changes and you have to go to a different facility and that is counterproductive to getting better and you know I have access to everything that any one of those therapists can read but if I don't have somebody to bounce that off of to see if it will help me or to explain some of the things, you know, because there's always the chance that I can misunderstand something. Um, but I try to be very self-aware of, you know, shit's gone south. What did I do? What, you know, and that might be the codependent in me talking or whatever, or it might be just that I saw a lot of fighting when I was growing up and I normally saw wrong on both sides. You know, I was like, oh, this is, you know, this is tit for tat. You know, this person did wrong and that person did wrong. They're both to blame for shit escalating. You know, maybe one's more to blame than the other, but they're both to blame. Um, but I, I don't like being blamed for the fact that people are not further along in life or they feel like I don't push them in the right way or they feel like I don't do enough for them or with them or, or, or whatever, you know. And then when I try to put in some input, when I try to say, well, hey, how about this? You know, because I'm told, well, you don't give me any input. You don't put any input in. So when I do, I get that that won't work. Or, really? That's what you come up with? You know? And, um, you know, I've, I've taken on a lot of blame in my life as mine, even though it wasn't mine. And I'm really tired of people not being accountable for 
their shit. I mean, if I spend a hundred bucks on something at Walmart, I choose to buy it. I can't blame Walmart for what the item costs. I can't blame the manufacturer for what the item costs. I didn't have to buy it. That's on me if I spent too much for something, more than I think it's worth. That's on me. I'm to blame for that. But I'm not to blame for how somebody misuses their time, especially when I'm not sitting there t distracting them. I'm not telling them, hey, let's do this. I know you're busy, but I know you're doing something important, you know. And granted, now let me say this crystal clear. Sometimes what a person is doing may not seem important, but it is to them. We all have priorities. And when you say something is your dream, this is my dream. This is what I've wanted my whole life. There are many reasons why a person doesn't get what they dream of. One is that their dream is unrealistic. You know, like, I can't flap my arms and fly. I can't blink myself to Argentina. You know, that is a uh, unrealistic dream. I'm going to be a millionaire in 10 days. That is an unrealistic dream. Saying, I'm going to have this piece of land. I'm going to be self-sufficient. I'm going to live off the grid. And it's going to take me a long time to do it. It's 20 years of hard work or it's 25 years or it's 10 years, you know. You have to put in the work. And a lot of people are just not prepared for the hard work it takes to achieve some dreams. And when you say, there, there is nothing wrong. There is absolutely nothing wrong with saying, I bit off more than I could chew. It was too much for me. I failed. There is nothing wrong with that. We all fail. We all, you know, we all disappoint people. We all fail. We all fuck up. Everybody does. It's, it's the human condition. But some people, they just don't want to admit that their failure is their fault. Yeah, it would have been nice to get some help. Yeah, but you have to look at what can somebody offer. Um, I can't ask a man in a wheelchair to help me move a 6,000 pound armoire, you know. I mean, I could ask him, but he's going to say, um, I'm in a wheelchair. I can't lug this 6,000 pound armoire up three flights of stairs. I, I can't even help you with that, really. You know, it's that, that, those are stairs. You know, there are things that you cannot get from certain people. And you can't blame them. You can't say, well, you're no, well, you're just useless. The reason why I can't get this thing up three flights of stairs is because this man in a wheelchair is lazy. No, it's because I didn't think of something else. It's because I asked the wrong person. I asked somebody who wasn't capable. Now that person might be capable of saying, hey, I know easier ways of doing this than what you're planning. You know, like, hey, the way you're going about this, this moving of this or this thing, you know, like you use certain people for brain power. Certain people are there to say, hey, it's time to take a rest. You're working too hard. 
you know, take five minutes, sit in the shade, come on, have a chat with me, you know. Um, it's dark. It's time to come in. It'll all be there tomorrow, <laughs> you know. Um, ultimately, it's their choice whether they stop or not, what they're doing. And I'm, I'm really tired of, of accepting blame for things that are not my fault, you know. If I call you a bitch and you get mad, it's my fault you're mad because I did call you a bitch. Tit for tat. I can't be surprised when you get mad if I do that. If I say, hey, bitch, you know, am I gonna, I mean, and, and there's lots of people who would be like, I, I only called her a bitch. I don't know why she attacked me. I just called her a bitch. Oh my God, she just lost her fucking mind. I'm such a victim. No, you're not. You called her a bitch. She had a reaction to it. Same scenario, that person might not have a reaction to it. They might be like, yeah, okay, whatever. I'm a bitch. See ya. Sayonara. You know. I spent too much time being blamed for shit. You know. Uh, as a kid, I was blamed for killing a cat because I picked him up and dropped him. I was blamed for my mom having an abortion. I think I've taken on enough blame that wasn't mine. And um, I'm about to be done with it in my adult life that, you know, own your own shit. Own your own shit. And as always... Every moment is an opportunity to turn things around. So if you find yourself taking the blame for people, for shit people did, like you didn't support me enough, you didn't love me enough, you didn't love me the right way, you didn't do this or you didn't do that, own whether that's true. Or say, you know what, you could have fucking told me. You could have said, hey, I don't like that. Stop. That's it for me. Have a good day. Bye.